Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, my name is Nelly. Today's topic is about unforgiveness and bitterness in marriage. You know there's a lot of things that happened that leads to divorce. And if you are going to have somebody into your life, you need to sort out some issues. If you've got some issues like unforgiveness and bitterness in your past relationship, choosing a life spouse is seeing them the way God sees them. So if you have unforgiveness and bitterness from your past relationships, it might affect your relationship, your new relationship. So you need to deal with those issues before you invite anyone else into your life, into this marriage. A lot of people enter into marriages and relationships with brokenness and they carry that with them. In the long run, this affects a marriage or relationship. You need to have an open conversation with your spouse. Address these issues. If you think you've got certain issues that you need to deal with, you need to address it. Sometimes it may be really hard, but when you're open to your partner and transparent, maybe you'll be able to understand your situation and where you're coming from. So you'll be able to help you towards dealing with the situations that you have. Don't forget you're operating as a team here. So when you work together towards a situation, it makes it, it makes it easier for the other person to understand where you're coming from. When you are married for a long time, there will always be conflicts. And sometimes we have a lot of anger and bitterness within us and we carry that with for years. It's how you solve a problem when it comes by. You'll be able to deal with any situation that comes by. Perhaps you have been wounded and you want to justify your wounds because they are so deep. You need to speak about them, but still you need to forgive and forget the past, no matter how deep your wounds have been. If you are going to carry whatever that happened for years, you will never learn to forgive and forget. So it's very important for you to just let go of your past. If you want to have a happy marriage or you want to have a happy relationship, because when it comes to bitterness, it starts small and this offense just sets into our minds. We keep playing this in our memories all over and over again, just to justify why we're angry. Otherwise, you won't be able to move forward and this will affect every relationship that you are going to start. Because what happens is you take offense in everything and everything becomes personal. You become defensive even if you don't need to. You want everyone to take your side just to justify why you're angry. This emotional pain, it will take longer to heal. How about just talking about it to your spouse instead of holding grudges? Maybe it can help you towards a healing process because it takes long. And obviously, if you are going to play it as a memory all over and over again in your mind, you'll never get to heal quickly as well. And this will affect your marriage because all these memories are clouding you, they're clouding your behavior. Even if your spouse, if it was a spouse that hurt you, is trying to be nice to you to do something for you, you'll always justify and think maybe he's trying to cover up something. So basically, everything that he does you think there's a motive behind it just because maybe he offended you some time back. So if you are married to such a person, it's so difficult because it feels like you're walking in eggshells. You never know when that person is going to explode whenever you say something. Be very careful in what you're saying just in case they start exploding on you. If you are going to meet somebody who's like that, now this is a red flag. People that are so quick to judge people even when they don't know them. Because what's playing behind in their mind is the memories of what happened in previous relationships. So they don't get to trust anyone because of the bitterness that they hold in their minds. It becomes a weapon of self-destruction, especially when it comes to bitterness. They want to just hang on in that past situation and they never get to want to move forward. People will always hurt you. You just need to move forward and deal with the situation. Set yourself free. Otherwise, you will never be free. All you're doing is just hurting yourself. And the other person that you are holding bitterness on, they are carrying on with their lives and you are not. It's like drinking poison and expecting that person to die. Forgiveness is a key of letting go of anger. As long as you are living on this earth and this territory, 
the devil's territory, somebody will always hurt you. It's how you take it, how you move forward in life that you need to deal with. Don't let this bitterness become a root. It also mentions in Hebrews 12 verse 15. When you have too many expectations of the next person and they don't get to do what you want them to do, you'll be disappointed, right? So sometimes things like this you just need to let go if you want to have a happy marriage. As it says in Colossians 3 verse 13, that we need to bear with one another. I know it can be very difficult at times, but you need to let go. Unfortunately, if you have high expectations of that other person, you're putting that person to failure because they don't have the capacity and attitude to meet your expectations. So you're clearly putting them to failure. So you can prevent bitterness from moving into your heart. You just need to deal with the situation before it grows into a weed. But you need to take and stand and decide, do you want to live peacefully or not? Or you want to carry all bitterness and anger with you. So sometimes we need to take it to him than hurting the people around you, people that love you. He already knows what's going inside you. He knows that that person hurt you. He knows as well how you feel about it. So maybe sometimes you just need to move yourself from this situation. It will save you in the long run and it will save your marriage as well. Because of your bitterness that have been caused by somebody else, you need to seek help from God. Ask God to remove that stony heart in you so that he can give you a clean heart in order for you to heal and move forward. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult in your marriage and that might lead to divorce as well. So you need to seek help. Thank you for watching. If this is content that you like, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next video. God bless you.